Welcome guys. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to find an epsilon delta proof given the function of square root of x and uh, as limit as x approaches 4 of the square root of x. First, we need to find L, then we need to do some scratch work, then we need to write the final proof. Okay, so let's get to it. Alright, so, so the limit as x approaches 4 of square root of x, we need to find L, the, the, the value of the limit. So what do we do? Uh, we plug in square root of 4. Now, square root of 4 is 2, so that's your L. So the first step is L equals 2. In the next step, which is the scratch work, we need to find, we need to relate, uh, Remember, we're trying to find these quantities. Minus L, less than epsilon, whenever So we're trying to relate we're trying to find delta. The way we do with the, the way we find delta is by relating this this expression here with this expression here. So the way we start with this kind of problem is we start here. So f of x, what if f of x is a square root of x? So a square root of x minus L. What is the L? 2. That's your limit. Remember, this has to be less than epsilon. Uh, from experience, I know how to do this problem. So I'm going to tell you how to do these kind of problems. But before I do that, let's review something. What happens when you multiply square root of x times square root of x? That's the same thing as square root of x squared, which is x. Another problem, for example, what is the cube root of x times the cube root of x? Uh, uh, I would say. Uh, so first we we the way we do it is we <coughs> I would uh, let, let's put this one let's do a cube here cube here it doesn't matter what it is what we're trying to do is we're trying to I'm trying to teach you how to so to bring everything inside so x cube times x cube that would be x to the six that's the same thing as x cube x cubed times x cubed and then 3 here how do we do this one well, well these are multiplying so and this is cube root so q root of x cubed is just x and then the q root of x cubed is again x so x times x is x squared you see that well, what, what I'm trying to get is that we're trying to find something uh, like a trick to get rid of this square root of x because this square root of x has and x is not related so we need to do something about it and the way we do it is by multiplying like this all right so i would say i would start by uh, multiplying both sides of this expression by square root of x minus 2 and then square root of x plus 2 and then less than epsilon, and then whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. So we we'll square, uh, square root of x plus 2. Okay. Remember, uh, to get to bring everything inside, what do we do? We, multi we do FOIL. So I square root of x times square root of x, that would be x. Minus 2 times square root of x, that would be minus 2 square root of x. And then my uh and then uh square root of x times that will be positive two square root of x then negative two times positive two that will be negative four so this quantity becomes this cancels so or we're left with x minus four is less than epsilon square root of x plus two and this quantity here, remember, it looks it should look like this. Your c is four always. What your the number you're approaching so that would be x, 
x minus 4 less than delta. Remember, we're trying to find delta by relating this expression with this expression. So here, this looks like this. But how do we uh, how do we find this value here? Because we remember uh, epsilon is a is a number, okay, uh, and delta is a number as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw. A, remember uh, a, a a number line. Four, it is here. Four, it is here. So we're trying to, I'm going to concentrate on the values. Remember, when we're trying to find the value of a limit, we, we look at, uh, I'm going to concentrate on doing, uh, uh, oh, the limit is 2, I'm sorry, the limit is 2. So I'm going to concentrate on the values next to it. I, I, I'll, just, I'll just say 1 and 3. This is your limit, L. Limit L. So... Uh, so we cannot just plug in. Uh, remember, when we plug in here, we're gonna get a number. So let's let's try to find an even number. To get a three, let's. So basically, uh, let's concentrate on x's that are greater than one, greater than one, and x less than nine. <coughs> because what happens when we do? Square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 9 is 3. So we're looking at these values. Alright. So the maximum here is 9. So let's choose 9. Let's choose to make it this a 3. That will give you a square root of 9 is a square root of 9 is 3 plus 2 is 5. But let's choose a smaller, a smaller delta the smallest you can find so that that's a better approach so let's choose one so this will be this will be less than one second let's erase this to make it clear so remember let's talk so that would be less uh, uh, this would be equal to epsilon square root of one plus two that will be epsilon square root of 1 is 1 plus 2 epsilon of 3 remember absolute value of a positive number is just the is just the number itself so that will be equal to 3 epsilon and that's your delta because remember this quantity here x minus 4 is less than this is less than 3 epsilon that means that your delta is 3 epsilon. All right, so this is 3 epsilon. So now let's find the, the final proof. Remember, the final proof, this is your step two, finding the scratch work. The step three is the final proof. So let's write the, the general proof. So f of x minus the limit has to be less than epsilon whenever whenever x minus c is less than epsilon so we find delta so delta equals 3 epsilon okay so now l remember is 2 f of x is your square root of x so the final proof says that Square root of x minus square root of x uh, minus the limit, which is uh, two, is less than epsilon whenever x your c is four minus four is less than three epsilon. And that completes the final proof. So remember, first we find L, then we try, then we describe we're trying to relate this quantity with this quantity, trying to find the delta. 
Once we find the delta, we write the final proof, which is just this statement here. And that completes the proof. Thank you very much. <coughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube videos, please. I appreciate it. It helps a lot. Thank you very much.